Well, good afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. I'm kind of running late today. It is Monday, May the 13th. I'm going to go straight into the beautiful King James Bible. We're in the book of Numbers, and this is chapter 16. And this one's a doozy. Now Korah, son of Hishar, son of Kohath, son of Levi, and Dathan, and Abraham, sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men. And they rose up before Moses with certain of the children of Israel. Two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon me, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face, and he spake unto Korah, and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow the Lord will show who are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him whom he hath chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do. Take your censers, Korah, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom the Lord doth choose, he shall be holy. You take too much upon you, you sons of Levi. And Moses said unto Korah, Hear, I pray you, you sons of Levi. Seemeth it but a small thing unto you, that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself to do service of the tabernacle of the Lord to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he hath brought thee near to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee. And ye seek the priesthood also? For which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord? And what is Aaron that you murmur against him? And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abram, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. It is a small thing that thou hast brought us up out of a land that floweth with milk and honey, to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us. Moreover, thou hast not brought us into the land that floweth with milk and honey, or given us the inheritance of fields and vineyards. Wilt thou put out the eyes of these men, we will not come up. And Moses was very wroth. And he said unto the Lord, Respect not their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, thou and they and Aaron tomorrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before the Lord every man his censer. Two hundred and fifty censers, thou also, and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, sell one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, 
and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they get up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abram, on every side. And Dathan and Abram came out and stood in the door of the tents, and their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby you shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. If these die, men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit. Then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the whole earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hollowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar. For they offered them before the Lord, therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. And Eliezer the priest took the brazen censers, wherewith they that were burnt had offered. And they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Israel, that no stranger which is not of the seed of Aaron come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and his company, as the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get ye up from this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them, for there is a wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were 14,700, besides them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. Wow. That's... That's hard to digest, isn't it? It's hard to take in that God would do that. We thank God that he doesn't do that sort of thing today, that we are under the new covenant. Had we have been under the old covenant, can you imagine what life would be like?
we're all given that chance to follow the Lord. We're all granted forgiveness. He is a patient, but he is a just Lord, a just God. And he will reward us justly one way or the other. We need to understand you're not monkeying about with some spiritual being that you can manipulate. This is God Almighty, a powerful God, a jealous God, but a patient and a loving and just God. And we don't want to get him angry. He has given us the good news. He has given us the good book and the word, and we need to follow it. Don't be like Korah. Don't be like Korah. I'm gonna leave it there. I think we need to ponder on this one. Tomorrow chapter 17 is a very short chapter. It's amazing how they vary in sizes, but uh, Actually, this question was asked. <laughs> I'm just browsing through chapter 17. And uh, Diana Stoner actually answered the question on Wednesday night because I couldn't remember. And she answered it beautifully and accurately. And we're going to be covering it tomorrow. So I'll, I'll give you the question tomorrow and we'll read the chapter together. And uh, Diana did a great job on Wednesday night of explaining it. Thank you, Diana. Well, have a great day, the rest of it. I'm sorry I'm late today, and uh, please forgive me. I will be back on time tomorrow morning. Have a great day now. Remember, God loves you. God loves you. And I love you too. Bye for now. Speak to you tomorrow.